My name is Angela Bailey. Well, Angie. Everyone calls me Angie. And I'm the editor-in-chief of the Daily Bell, which is University of Belling's student-run newspaper. This year, we were chosen to be the focus of the documentary filmmaking thesis class's year-long documentary, which is a mouthful. But it's also awesome, because the Daily Bell is arguably the best student-run newspaper in the country. And I'm not just saying that because I've done it for three years. We were actually named the greatest college newspaper of 2021 by Belling's local senior center's community magazine. Welcome to the queue. The official name of this building is the Gerbert Quip Learning Center. It's where about half of UB student clubs meet once a week. And around this corner is the Daily Bell hallway. Oh, hi Owen. Hey. This is a writer's room. We have one for almost every section of the paper, just not the social media. They sort of operate on their own spectrum. Down the hall is the main office. Oh, before we go in, you should know that what you're about to see through this door is possibly the greatest collegiate student-run office in Massachusetts. When all the head editors push our brains together, we work like clockwork. I'm not trying to be conceited, but it really is impressive the amount of work that- Angie, oh my god, I just, oh, jeez, all right, sorry. No, 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 Mace, Mace, um, it's okay, what's up? It's just that Emerson and Sarah are fighting over the front page story again, and Owen got so annoyed that he left. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Can you just come back in and make the decisions so that we can yeah, all sure. go back to editing our articles? And I really need to finish mine, okay? Because okay. I'm doing a review of one of the theater department's abstract one acts, and it's about Mary and a Little Lamb. It's like an interpretation of if Mary was an analogy for a Massachusetts teacher that was underpaid in the school system. It's just really Okay, weird. Maze. Okay, but it's so hard to concentrate when Emerson and Sarah are just tearing each other apart. Okay, it's just, Maisie. It's... Oh, sorry. Um, can I just tell them that you're coming? Sure. Okay, yeah. Welcome to the bell. This is the documentary filmmaking class. They ended up choosing us. Why didn't you tell us before they started filming? I look gross. You never look gross. He looks gross. Thank you. Angie, our stories are top secret. Well, they're gonna be with us all year, so. Uh, Emerson, just ignore them. What's going on? Okay, fine. If you tell Sarah, the article about the student government candidates deserves a front page spot over a simple schema. Oh, well, actually, it's Angie, not even... can you tell Emerson that my profile on Michael Todrick's deserves a spotlight because he's an alumni who's also an Olympian. Guys, it's not gonna oh, please. be... please. No one gives a crap about sports. Tell that to the literal millions of people who watch the Olympics. Okay, I will. Yo! Wait, you will? Yes. How? I'll send out a memo. To over 15 million people. Also, a memo? What is this, 2007? Okay, people still use memos. Yeah, like our parents. I swear. Okay, okay, guys. Look, both your articles are important, but they're also both gonna go in your normal sections, because tomorrow the front page is a spotlight of the clubs. We're doing an article about all the big student-run organizations because it's the club tabling event tomorrow. You guys didn't forget about the tabling event tomorrow, right? No. No, no of course I didn't. <laughs> Sounds like you did. No, I didn't. I just need to make a call. Um, some things around, not regarding tomorrow, though. Something completely different. Hi, Angie. Yeah. So about lunch. It does annoy me when people pull the authority card. Thank you for asking. Yes. What else annoys me? When someone spells my name with an H, Sarah with an H looks so lame. Sarah, the way I spell it, S-A-R-A, -A, just looks more edgy. Which I think fits my personality. You know? Sarah's my roommate, yeah. Oh, the fight with Sarah and Emerson? That, that happens a lot. They went to high school together, so they're always kind of competing. It, it's annoying. Personally, I think they just need to fuck it out. And not even necessarily with each other. Maybe with each other. Can you two and uh, Lucy go lay out the articles with Ravi? What, me? Layout time, I hear. 
Um, I think my skills will be best utilized in the main office. Just go. Follow me, you rabid dinguses. Ravi has this really unique outlook on the world. And life. And privacy. Uh, occupied. Do you have any gum? Dude, what the hell? He has 35 different colored highlighters. Yes, I might have counted his highlighters. Ravi did tell me this really funny joke once. It went, why did the chicken cross the playground? To get to the other slide. <laughs> I'm, I'm the managing editor. I'd say Ravi's vibe is your cool but kind of grimy uncle mixed with that one kid that you thought your sister would never date, but then she totally did, and it was awesome. Our freshman year, we went to the local farmer's market together. Ravi thought it was a date. He tried to physically feed me every single one of the free cheese samples. There were 11 samples. Delucci is the last name. Yes, Ravi Delucci at your servity service. What's my story? Well, my dad met my mom at NYU, and then they got married. After only a year, mind you. Then they consummated their marriage, and poof, baby boy, guilty. Then poof, 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 baby boy gets three younger triplet sisters. Good for my dad, right? I'd say good for my mom, too, but my dad doesn't really strike me as the type to be good at pleasuring a woman, so it probably wasn't that good. But hey, what do I know? I've never slept with my dad. Hey, Owen, we need you in the meeting room. Oh, uh, why? I should, I should finish editing this. Well, it's an emergency. What's going on? We're planning for tabling. Oh, that is an emergency. I lead the op-ed team, which basically means I review the letters and articles people send in. It's interesting stuff. I, I joined as a freshman when I was a journalism major because I thought it would supplement that well. Um, since then, I've, I've become pre-med, but I stuck around anyway because I... Ladies first. I met some really great people. All right. I'm done. <clears throat> what is this? Kevin Owens Band. They're having their first concert tomorrow night, and they asked me to make them a poster. Jesus. Ravi, you were supposed to be formatting our articles for the website. I didn't know they weren't a band. They are. It's called The Cat Named Jake. Kind of like... In sync? Kev really wanted me to add that. You wrote Friday Night twice. I, I did? What kind of music do they play? Mediocre rock. It's not that good. Whatever. Ravi, Maya literally asked us to make the layout, so we should be making princess, the layout. Princess, I Don't hear call me you. princess. I hear you, but you're all out of whack. Let me get you some ice chips so we can all chill. You, you get it because ice? Yeah. No, we got it. And then Thanks. we can talk about the layout. Ravi. Uh, uh, uh. Ice chips and then layouts. Where's he getting ice chips in the queue? People wasting time doesn't bother me because really they're just wasting their own time, not mine. Why? Because I know what I'm here for. You know, when I was born, my parents told me I was a spitting image of Neil Armstrong, the first man to walk on the moon. And by age three, I could sign my name on legal documents, birthday cards, inside of book covers, diaper packaging, etc. By fifth grade, I had read War and Peace, and by 14, I knew that I wanted to be president one day. Um, can you scratch that last part, um, use this instead? And by age 14, I knew that I am going to be president one day. Lucy, you go. Okay, um, cinnamon rolls or donuts? Uh, cinnamon rolls. What? No, donuts. The hole is big enough to be comfortable, yet small enough to remain nice and tight. Ew, jeez, okay. Am I wrong? No, just gross. Maisie. Hey, hey, hey Maisie. You at a class? Obviously she is. I don't know, obviously. Yeah, I am. See? Ooh, are you guys coming to our show tomorrow night after tabling? Uh, I don't know. Of course I am. How are you? I'm coming. Really? Yeah, I'm the band's biggest fan. No, I am. Oh, it's Maria. Hey, beautiful. Marie's my girlfriend. Uh, we started dating last March over spring break. She, she's actually from my hometown. She goes to school in New York right now, so it's long distance, but it's actually okay. There's 
there's not much to it, you know, it's, it's, it's going great. Do you guys feel ready? Heck yeah, we do. We're doing two new songs, and I have this sweet guitar solo in one of them. Have you two been to one of our performances yet? What? Well, then you have to stop by for the vibes of Led Zeppelin mixed with these strikingly good looks of the Jonas Brothers. Your poster said you guys were like in sync. Yeah, them too. A cat named Jake is just a flavor of everything. It's me, Owen, our other roommate, Mark, and we've won some local awards, actually. There was this one competitive open mic, and we swept it. Honestly. I really think ACNJ is the beginning of something big. Sounded good. Uh, I'll pull back when Mark first comes in so we can hear his troll thing. Okay, yeah, whatever works. All right, you guys. I think we're ready. First show of the new semester? Let's go! Oh, uh, what are we wearing again? Something comfy, I hope? Yeah, jeans and a t-shirt, uh, I don't know, just, just look somewhat put together. Not too put together, though. We still want to look like the Rolling Stones. Dude, you've got to just pick one band. You can't keep adding more. I know. I know. Oh, and sound check at 600 hours tomorrow. You do know that just means 6 a.m., right? You gotta just let me have this one, man. Yeah, cool. Oh, and we're still on for a party after, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sweet. Yeah. All right, it's 10 o'clock, so we have like four hours before tabling. Does everyone know what your job is? Candy, firing Easy whatever. peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, is that it? Yeah. Great, then I think we're good. I'll see you guys at tabling in the queue at two o'clock. Break, go team. <laughs> Let me do the talking. Yeah, yeah, fine. Um, Ange? Yeah? Nat and I have some news. Is everything okay? Did someone die? Who died? Was it a celebrity? Was it Gordon Ramsay? Yeah. No, Ange, what? No one died. Gordon Ramsay's fine. Oh, thank God. But we actually do have to tell you something. Okay, shoot. Are you sure Gordon Ramsay's okay? Yeah, no, it's all good. No big deal. Nat. It's just that Maya just found out that our table for today got moved to the lower level of the queue, which means we'll be right next to the WBEL studio, and that means Matt might be near us, meaning you, and we just thought we should tell you because you might see him, but it's not a big deal. Nat! I said let me do the talking. I know, I know, sorry. And? You gonna be okay? Uh, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> it's fine. I have to go just quickly. Um, gonna <laughs> mix up some thinking sauce, if you know what I mean. But it's fine. And you tight feet, right? Minds? Tight minds? Is it tight minds? Great minds. Great minds. You both have great minds. And you're the best roommates and friends ever. Also, I'm fine. You're the best. I'm cool. It's fine. It's fine. Angie, you're fine. Angie, Angie, you're fine. You're just going to ignore him. He is just a stupid butthead. And you're going to ignore him and his stupidly pretty face. Because it's just... I was practicing a monologue. Angie's the sweetest girl in the world. She's nice to practically anyone and everyone. The exception being anyone who works at the WBEL 93.4, the University of Bellings radio station, and especially the person who runs it, Matt Williams. Yeah. Matt Dickface Williams. Not Just speaking the truth. Angie and Matt used to date for the better part of the last two years, they broke up in February, and for three weeks, Nat and I had to buy a tub of ice cream a day for Angie, even though she broke up with him. And that's a lot of ice cream. And a lot of money. And he didn't cheat on her or anything. He just ended up being a pretty shitty boyfriend. And now they don't really get along. 
You know, the last time they talked, Angie actually spit on him. That's like some medieval shit. What? You know, old-timey people thought spitting was the worst thing you could do to someone. I'd spit on anyone at the WBEL 93.4. Okay. Look at them. So stupidly gorgeous. Matt, don't draw attention to them. Angie's already mad that we got put down here. Yeah, and why aren't they? Because they won best student-run media last year. It's dumb. Yo, you guys, where are Kevin Lucy? We need the candy so that freshmen like actually come down here. They'll be here soon. And here they are. Why are we down here? Just don't. Okay. Uh, we got Jolly Ranchers, chocolate, and some boomer shit. It's called Andy's, idiot. Looks like boomer shit to me. That's all I'm saying. Okay, whatever. Here are the flyers. If you oh, just and we also have deodorant. Who shares deodorant? His call, not mine. We ran here, plus it's roll-on. Which makes it less weird. Okay, whatever. Just take the flyers, and whenever Robbie gets here, hand him a few. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay. Are you getting the newspaper? Yes. Do you want to hear a bit about us? Okay. Look at that. You guys finally have someone. Angie, what did we say? That if he tries to talk to me, turn around, put a Jolly Ranch in my mouth, and ignore him. Good. We've had 12 sign-ups already. Oh, it's too bad they just ruined their life. Angie, come on. I, I got this. Has he still got a posse following you around? Oh, no, you didn't. I know you have cameras, too. Well, for your information, we were actually chosen by the documentary filmmaking class over your stupid radio station. Oh, my stupid radio station? That got to be upstairs while you're downstairs. Can't you see how jealous I am from my gushing tears? You are such a jerk! Guys! Okay. Oh, now we're alone in a hallway. Ew! Gross! That's not... You pulled me back here. Yeah, but that's not why. I just... Why do you still feel the need to talk to me? Why did you come down here? Because I'm still mad. You're mad? Yes. Well, grow up and get over it. It's been like a, a lot of months since we broke up, and I don't care that you're still mad or jealous or whatever. Jealous? Of who? You and your lame newspaper friends who keep losing at the media awards? Oh, that's what this is about? Well, you can say whatever you want, but at the end of the day, the Daily Bell is a tighter and better team than WBEL. And at the end of the year, we're going to win Best Student Run Media. You are? Yeah. After a six-year losing streak. Hey, the judging's been unfair, and I stand by that. Yeah, or maybe you and those dinguses just suck at winning. Those dinguses are the smartest, best people I've ever met. They're kind and mature, unlike you, and they work their butts off. There's no chance. Well, we'll see. Don't follow me. I need to get to- so Go another way. What other way? Great job ignoring him. Are you supposed to be asking me about my love life? He just sucks, okay? He sucks like banana flavored anything, including bananas. Yeah, well, we did date until she ended it in February. <laughs> oh man, she's gonna be so mad when she finds out you guys interviewed me. so much. I just wanted to take a second and say thank you all for coming to the show tonight. Uh, none of this would be possible without you guys. It, it seriously means the world to us. Yeah. Uh, I also want to take a second to recognize the members of the band. Mark, great roommate and incredible bassist. Uh, and our lead guitarist, lead vocalist, Kev. This is our place, so please don't break shit. But other than that, uh, let's get it going. That was the best show ever. They loved it. Everyone was cheering. The place was so full. A girl took her top off, which I mean, good for her. Huge tits. Kev. What? It was crazy. Guys, come on, uh, to the to the band. To the band.
So then I was like, sir, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do. We're out of stock. And you just kind of asking. Yeah. Like, like, hey! Hi! Hey, I've just been thinking uh -huh. about what you should name your fans of your band. Okay. You should be called Kittens. Because you're a cat named Jake, you know? And it's like a litter of kittens. Okay. Yeah. No, I like that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I can be the first one. Awesome. You guys, I have a good feeling about this year. Oh, it's gonna be so good, like hot fudge Sunday good. <laughs> yeah. No, like that feeling right before you orgasm good. No, mm -hmm. it's gonna be so good, like Beyonce level good. Angie, dude. Yeah, you're right, no, that's too far. Gaga though? Yeah, Gaga for sure. This is our Gaga year. Yeah, let's dance. Just dance, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Just dance.